Ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, today is a good day. And not just a good day, but one of the best kind of days. We get to celebrate the commitment and joy of Morgan Riley and Nathan Crowdis. How beautiful is it that we all get to share in this moment together? When did, wait, when did you know that you were going to propose? I don't know. I think like after just seeing how well he got with my family and I was like, she's definitely ready for me to propose. life we were living. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but now it's husband and wife. Yep. And in early December of 2023, Nathan finally did what we were all waiting for and asked Morgan to be his wife. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> got my dress. You got your tux. Yep. Now I got my tux fixed. Got your, got your rings. Mm-hmm. I got my rings. We just got to do it. And our vows. Mm-hmm. started, I'd like to take a moment to pray. God, we are grateful and blessed to be a part of this moment, to celebrate marriage that you created. And God, we just ask that your hand is in this moment, eliminate distractions, and let us focus on each other and the beauty of the covenant of marriage. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Nathan, from the moment we met, I knew there was something different about you. Your love for me is unwavering through the highs and lows of life. You have always been there for me, even when my crazy schedule made it difficult for us to spend much time together. You have shown in your actions that I am a priority. When I worked odd hours, you were considerate of my sleep. When I was sick, you faced your fear of GI illness to care for me. <laughs> even if you got yourself locked out of the house. I was just calling to see you're free to run away with me. Morgan, I'm so glad that you agreed to go on the date with me to Taco Luchador on that chilly April evening in 2019. Wow, look what it has led to. Today, surrounded by loved ones, I stand in awe of an incredible woman before me. Morgan, you're the epitome of love, care, and kindness. Your nurturing nature has touched my heart in ways I never thought possible. You've a way of every, uh, making everyone around you feel see, uh, seen and heard, and I'm grateful to be the recipient of your unwavering compassion. Here are my promises to you. I promise to inspire you to take risks, to challenge you to step outside of your comfort zone and embrace new adventures. I promise to be there for you in both the stressful and the joyous times, supporting you to conquer new things. I promise to give you the time and space to pursue your passions, whether that means going to the gym three days in a row, one day off, <laughs> three days in a row, <laughs> or watching Mark Madness. And don't worry, when it's your turn to make dinner, I'll be your uncle sous chef. Morgan, I promise to always be there for you, to take care of your needs, and to love you unconditionally. I promise to be your biggest cheerleader, inspiring and encouraging every step of the way. If you ever doubt yourself, I will remind you of your incredible intelligence, your strong work ethic, and your ability to accomplish anything you set your mind to. Um, I'll get hyped for every accomplishment, whether big or small. And don't worry, Morgan, I'll make sure there's always coffee. <laughs> I promise to be the best version of myself, for myself, for us, and our future together. You're my rock, my partner, and my best friend. And should the day come when we welcome children into our lives, I promise to be the best partner and parent I can be. We will create a loving environment where, a loving and caring environment where all children will feel safe and supported, and encouraged to be their authentic selves. We will lead by example, teaching them the values of kindness, respect, and empathy. 
Together we will navigate the ups and downs of parenthood, always providing love, guidance, and a listening ear. As we continue this journey, I'm excited for what lies ahead. I am thrilled to explore new places, to continue to build a life together, and to experience the different stages of life side by side. Whether it's taking a weekend trip somewhere new, or buying our next home, facing challenges, or accelerating milestones, I look forward to having a front row seat to your life and being by your side as we grow and change together. Today, Morgan, I stand here before you and make these promises from the depths of my heart. I vow to cherish every moment we have together to learn and grow alongside you. I promise to anticipate your needs and be your part in all things. We will embrace the priceless moment life has to offer. Know that in good times and in bad and in sickness and in health, I will be by your side loving you with all my heart. Morgan Riley, you are my forever and I'm honored to call you my wife. There's a you, and there's a me. There's a pattern in the chaos, a current in the sea. And there are times I wish I had a mountain top to see the rhythm of it all. I'm so excited to see what lies on the horizon for us. Your adventurous spirit has not, has not only pushed me out of my comfort zone, but has also taught me to approach life with a sense of curiosity and wonder. You have shown me the beauty of thoughtfulness and your occasional sass keeps me on my toes. As we bring in this new page, I'm thrilled to travel, live a healthy and active lifestyle, and build a, a life filled with love and adventure. So let's knock out that shared bucket list starting with summoning a 14er. <laughs> so here's to us, my love, to a future filled with endless possibilities. I am grateful for the love we share and the laughter we bring into each other's lives. I love you more than coffee, chocolate, and leisure reading combined. And I love you more than Harley loves playing fetch. Let's make this adventure the greatest one yet. Forever yours, Morgan. There's a you, and there's a me. There's a pattern in the chaos, a current in the sea, and there are times I wish I had a mountain top to see the rhythm of it all. See the rhythm of it all. These rings represent love, pure and simple. The love that God has for all creatures, great and small, and the love that you two have for each other. When you place this ring on each other's finger, you're not just giving the gift of a ring, but the gift of love that God has filled the two of you with. So Nathan, I have a question for you. Do you, Nathan Crowdis, take Morgan Riley to be your lawfully wedded wife, your constant friend and partner in all the adventures that life has in store for you? I do. Do you, Morgan Riley, take Nathan Crowdis to be your lawfully wedded husband, your constant friend and partner in all the adventures that life has in store for you? Yes. <laughs> That's a little bit too long for me. Repeat after me. I now have the honor and privilege to pronounce you husband and wife. Nathan, you may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Nathan and Morgan Brown. Like cities, we all have alleys and gardens and secret rooftops. Love lets you find those hidden places in another person, even the ones they didn't know were there, even the ones they wouldn't have thought to call beautiful themselves. Love needs love, and lots of it. And I'd fallen over again. 
And in return, love loves you and loves you and never stops.